So main activity and what we need here is is an adapter. So public class movie adapter which extends to array adapter. And what it will take it will take um, okay leave it for now. So now this movie adapter must contain two things. First it should contain the constructor and the get view method. These two methods are used to populate your list. So let's first create a constructor. And what type of constructor do we need? We need a constructor which can take a list. So this is the one. Because in the end we have a list of our models. So this is the thing we require. And the get view method. Now the list of the objects will be a movie model objects. And here in the array adapter, what do you want? Okay. So get view method is there, movie adapter is there. And that's it, almost it. Okay, so let's create this list here, public list objects, and we will name it movie list or movie model list. So, movie model list equals to objects, and also the second thing we need is in resource private it should be private and this dot resource equals to resource this resource means this one and normal resource means this one this is the resource and the lastly we need a layout in creator which will actually lay inflate the layout so like you see here, we use a menu inflator to inflate the menu from the XML. We use a layout inflator to inflate from the layout. So we, we need a layout inflator. Inflator equals to get system service, layout inflator service and cast it into a layout in player. And it will be returning a convert view. So if our convert view double equals to null, then we will include our views. Convert view equals to Inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot row. So here we will pass our row and the root we will pass we will pass null for now. So what we have done here, we have inflated this row layout into this convert view method uh, variable and it takes a view. It is a view, so it can it can take anything. So inside this we have our all of our views which we have defined here like movie name, uh, tags or whatever it is. All of those things are now inside this convert view. Now there is one important thing about this get view method. This method gets called multiple times depending upon the number of items on the list. So that is why it has a position here. So if you have 10 items then this method will be called 10 times. So your items will be created 10 times and here you can do the item creation and setting the data in this method. So first we have to find our views, all of, uh, first we have to find all of our views. So image view and that was IV movie icon. 
then we have a text view text view tv movie my copy these guys no i do not so tv movie then another text view i can quickly copy all of these things so tv movie is there tv tagline tv year TV tagline, TV year, TV duration, TV director. I hope my spelling is correct. And then we have a radio button. Ah, sorry, a rating bar. So rating bar, RV movie, rating. What do we have next? We have TV cast and TV scroll. So text view TV cast text view TV scroll. And after that I will initialize things here. So I the movie icon equals to image view. And the ID are on ID bar, ID icon. And you have to do the same thing for all of these things, right? It's a pretty lazy thing, right? There should be a script to do this thing for you. But right now we have to do this. So TV movie equals to text view. Okay. The thing is that you cannot do the you cannot use the find view by ID. This will try to find in the main activity Java file. But our core, our XML files lies in this row, our XML file, and who who holds the row is the convert view. So you have to use convert view dot find view by id. So again, convert view dot find view by id r dot id dot remove And similarly, I can copy these items again and again. So the second, third thing is tagline. So tagline here duration director oh my god this is going to take forever right rating bar okay it is not RB movie rating it is RB movie only. In our case, TV cost is there. TV cost and lastly, but not the least, TV story. Okay, we are done. I'm tired of. Okay, now mind, now mind. So, um, okay, we have the movie list here. We can now fetch the data from the movie list and set your directory. We will not be setting any icon for here, but we can set the rest of the data. So TV movie dot set text and the data and the data relies in this and the data lies in this movie list dot get and here you have to pass something. I will tell you what it is dot get movie. And this will give you a movie. Now, what do I have to pass in this get? I have to pass this position variable. So it starts with zero. So for the zeroth position, it will give you the name of the movie, which is at the zero position, and that is the movie Avengers. Then it will go again and will get Interstellar, and this is how your items will be created again and again. So TV movie. Let me copy this guy again and again. Then TV tagline. Get tagline. Then TV ear. Okay. So get ear. Now ear is a string. So you cannot set text. 
let me just check what it is. Yeah, it's an int. So if you are set text and int, it will take a resource ID. That is not going to work. You will get an exception here. So make sure that you are properly formatting the data. What we will do here, we will write here and now it is casted into a string. TV duration get duration get director there is TV director TV cast let me just get over with these guys first and TV story so TV cast is get oops okay so we have a cast list here so we have to wait for this one tv story should be fine tv story okay now the in the cast we have a list so what we can do here we again have to use a for loop for um Okay, I will show you a for each loop now. So this is a for each loop, and uh, what we can do here, we can get a cast item, cast from movie bar dot get cast list. So from this cast list, it will give you an item into a cast variable, and this will run until we have more items. Now what we will show, we will show a string buffer, string buffer equals to new string buffer and the string buffer dot append cast dot get name. So we will get the name and then we will add a form afterwards and this goes. So this is the string buffer we will set to this cast. I will show you what will happen after this. Okay, it can take a string buffer also. So set text can take a character sequence. <coughs> string buffer. Alright. So now the two things that are remaining is is this rating bar and the movie icon. Now let's get over with the rating bar also. So here we have a rating bar. Okay, so rating bar movie rating dot set rating. It takes a float. Now movie list dot get position dot get rating will give you a rating in the float itself but what you want this rating is out of 10 what you want is a rating out of 5 so we will simply divide it by 2 so get the rating divided by 2 and then put in the set rating that's it now we will leave the image for now because image will require a little bit of more effort to show but till now we are done with the with the custom list view all right so let me just remove this empty space from here for now so on the click of refresh button our async task will execute and what will what our async task will do it will it will load the JSON in the background and after loading it, it will send the data in the on post execute method. Now here we have to set the data to the disk. Now we need the movie adapter equals to new movie adapter. The first thing that we have to pass here is the context, the application context. The second is the resource. So resources r.layout.go 
and the last thing is the reader because we have received a list of movie model here now we are passing two times row here again and row here again so we have already passed this row here so we can we have already saved it into a resource so instead of passing row again we can save it like this we can pass the resource here and one more thing guys we are doing all of this stuff in a single class right we have the main activity class we are creating the json task in it and we are creating a adapter in it in, in other scenario there might be a possibility that you need to create this adapter or json task in a different file in a different class file right so in that case if you pass the hard code value that will not work if you pass this value from here it will work because this can be used for multiple files this same thing can be used for multiple activities all right so we have our adapter ready now this adapter needs a list or actually a list of movies need this adapter and ta we are done with our tutorial so we are basically done with the parsing of a list and then displaying the list into a custom list view now let's see how how this works let's run this code Okay, it is executing. Let me connect my device. Okay, connected. All right. So this is our JSON parsing demo. So I'm going to click on the refresh button and you see we get the data. Similar to the data, similar to the example we just have shown you in the in the starting, right? The same design is there. There is one difference though that we are not done with the images. However, all all the different data is loaded successfully. So here it says 1997, but this is duration and this is director name and this is cast and story. Right? So we have to just make a little tweaks here. So ear is fine, tagline is fine, movie name is fine, duration, so let's put duration here and let's put director here, heading is fine, cast, let's put cast here. Alright, so we are done with it.